Oh my gosh, did you see that? <laughs> Neither did I. Hang on, I'm going to do it again. Hey everybody, this is Rebecca. This is my test 2 on my new to me fiber laser, a 20 watt G2 from Gweeki. And I just did the outline for this oval. And then here in just a second, I'm going to hit the button to do the engraving first, just the word hello. And then it's going to run 15 times to cut it. Wow, so fast. Cut it out of aluminum soda can. This is a LaCroix soda can. And just tried to get it as flat as possible and stick it in there. And I'm, here in a second I'll show you the file and the parameters I used. But good grief, so stinking cool. It takes me longer to punch it out than it did to actually engrave and cut it. It's pretty sharp, so I don't know what real applications you could have with just the raw edge like this. That would uh, make me worry to make earrings out of it. That that uh, could go bad. <laughs> but, uh, oh, my mind is swimming with possibilities. Okay, the rest of this video I'm just going to show you the file I used in the settings. So it was just a real simple text. So just use the text op object and then I used a built-in font and it does pick up all my system fonts already. So um, don't think I really changed much there. Um, maybe fiddled around with the sizing a little bit but whenever I picked the text it was empty or, or it was open. So I did come in and add this hatching fill. and. Not sure I'd really changed anything in here. I used that default uh, setting of uh, version 1 and uh, told it to do cross hatching, I believe, was uh, selected there. But, um, but pretty simple. Just threw in some text, filled in the letters with the cross hatching. And then on layer 3, which is my red layer, this was where it cuts the oval. So it went 15 passes. Um, and I believe I had all the defaults there for that. For the engraving, this was on my first layer, just did one pass and I bumped the speed up to 2000 there uh, and then the power at 30. Alright, so this is my second video test and I'll file it away in the playlist. Thanks for watching.